Psalm 94, verse 22, that the Lord is my defense. But the Lord is my defense. That was the confession of the psalmist. That was the confession of King David that faced so many battles. And all the battles could not overcome him. And the only Spirit wants you to make that same confession today. Everyone is concerned about his security. Individuals, families, nations, governments spend so much money, spend so much resources, spend so much time and effort, deploy so many personnel in the air, in the sea, on the land, forces to defend nations. We have the army, we have the police, we have security men, we have the navy, we have the air force, we have private security, we have CCTV, we have hidden cameras. All are geared to defending us. But the truth of the matter, and that truth was realized by David, that no man can successfully defend and protect himself if God does not protect him. Kings of nations with all their defense have been assassinated. Even in the United States, the president has been assassinated with all the, with all the security, with all the intelligence. It's good for us to be vigilant, to be watchful, but the truth is that if God does not defend you, no man can succeed in defending you. The Lord is your defense means the Lord is your protector. It means the Lord is your shield. It means you don't need to be afraid of any evil because he will wash over you. His eyes will wash over you. The Lord is your defense means the Lord will fight your battles. The Lord is your defense means he's your defender. He will trouble your trouble and trouble your troublers. As you walk in righteousness and holiness, and as you hold on to this and stand on this, the Lord shall defend you. In the office, we defend you. In the house, we defend you. As you walk, as you ride in your vehicle, as you fly in the air, it will defend you from all evil. No arm, no arm shall come near you. The Lord shall surely defend you from all the evils of the land, both physical and spiritual. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.